guys, today I'm here to answer and try to help you with one of the, maybe one of the most common questions I get asked, and that question is, where do I get my resin decals? And if you've watched my hauls, you will know that I get most of them at Daiso or at my craft store because resin crafting is really popular right now in Japan, so there is an abundance of these decal sheets. And... A lot of you have asked me how to search for it on Etsy or online, and there is not an abundance of them online, unfortunately. So today, I want to help you guys make your own. So first off, I want to show you this book. It is, um, I don't know what you call it, like an illustration book, I would say, and I bought this at my local bookstore. Um, I believe it was 3,200 yen plus tax, so about 35 US dollars, give or take some. And what this is, is it's a book full of illustrations like this, and there is a CD-ROM that comes with it. It even comes with backgrounds and stuff and sweets. And um, it comes with a CD-ROM with all of the files on the disc. And what you can do is you can use them for anything. You cannot resell the files or, um, like, print a book or stuff with them. But you can use them for making your own crafts and stuff and it's okay if you sell those crafts. There's a page that says it's it's not public domain but the license is available for everyone kind of thing for the people who buy the book that is. And I'm sorry I'm horrible at explaining things but I think you guys get what I mean. You buy the book you can use the images so um, yes. Unfortunately I cannot redistribute these images to you guys for free because that would not be respectful to the artist who drew these illustrations but um, I'm just showing this as a sample of what you can get. There are tons of these books in Japan. There are different types and stuff and I'm sure there are in other countries too and there are tons of resources online. You can look for public domain or license free or royalty free images. There are multiple search terms and you can even buy images online. You can buy them for like 50 cents to dollars depending on the artist and what kind of image it is. So I'll try to leave a few links down below of some public domain image sites and we are going to be on our way to making our own decals. Now this is the second thing you are going to need. I'm sorry it's all in Japanese. I have no access to English stuff at the moment but it's a OHP film and OHP is like an overhead something something projector. That's what it is. And um, this is for inkjet printer, so it works with my printer. I don't have a laser printer, but I do have this, and I am sure you can find these at maybe like office supply type stores or even craft stores maybe. And um, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to be called OHP film or what. But, I mean, I think you could probably ask for the clear sheets that you can print on or something like that. So the next thing I did was put the images that I wanted from the CD-ROM onto my computer and then I um, pasted them onto a Word file and then I resized them. Most of these I resized down to about 10% of their original size. Some are even 5% and yeah, so as you can see, I printed out a test sheet on white paper. And I compared them with the decal sheet that I already have. If you don't, you can take, you know, your bezel or your resin mold that you're wanting to use and make sure it's the right size. But I decided that these weren't too big and they weren't too little. So I went ahead and printed on the OHP sheet. And as you can see, it's a clear sheet. So if you put it on the white paper, you can see it better. But I would say it turned out really nicely. So um, as you can see, I repeated the same images a few times so I wouldn't waste the sheet. And now I'm going to use these in resin, and this is actually my first time trying, so we'll see how it goes. I'm actually a little bit worried because it's inkjet. I'm a little bit worried it's going to bleed, but we're going to experiment together. I'm just going to use a normal silver bezel here, and I'm just going to do a white background so we can see how well the decals show up. I'm going to go ahead and pop this into my UV lamp. While I wait for my bezel to cure, I'm going to go ahead and cut out a few decals and see which one I want to use. Okay, the bezel is cured, and I went ahead and cut out our little Studio Laurie and Chibis, and I'm going to place them on here. And I think it looks pretty nice. I'm going to dump that out and try putting this one on top. 
Oops, it's not gonna slide around. Here we go. And that one looks really nice too. Now the question is, are they going to bleed or not? So I'm going to go ahead and use our chibi, and I'm gonna dome it with resin and cure it. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit down first so it will stick to the bezel. Flop the decal in. Slide it around. There's good. Now normally I would put a few more things in, maybe some rhinestones, some pearls, or even a few more decals to add a little bit of color, but for today's purpose I'm just going to leave it like this. Add a little bit more resin, and I will pop it into the UV lamp. Ta-da! So it's back from the UV lamp, and it did not bleed, thank goodness. It seemed to work perfectly. So, I know this was kind of a quick, random, rambling video, but I hope this was able to give you guys maybe some inspiration to make your own decals, because, I mean, think about it, guys. The possibilities are endless if you can make your own, you know, images to put into resin. So there are a few things you need to be careful about, and the first is getting the right uh, transparencies. I, that may be what they call them in English. Um, clear, clear paper, clear um, OHP films to print on. Make sure it is either inkjet, if you have an inkjet printer, or laser, whichever, you know, make sure it matches your printer, whatever you have. And the second thing is that Google Images is not a free-for-all, especially if you're selling your resin pieces. Please remember to respect the original artists, and when you are using images to print for non-personal use, like if you're selling your pieces or, um, you know, making money off of them any in any way, you want to make sure that you can legally use the images. You can't just go and search for Hello Kitty on Google and use the images and sell them because in some ways that is theft and I'm sure there's like a proper term for it. So like I said, I will leave some public domain image sites and stuff that you can use for free. So just remember that when you are selling your pieces and things like that to respect the original artist and the companies and all that good stuff. Now that's that's kind of a hard topic and I could go into it further but for now I just want to remind you guys to you know know who the image belongs to and if you're allowed to use it or not and I think that's it but I'm really really excited I'll leave a link to the book with the images it'll be to Amazon Japan so I'm afraid I don't know if you can buy it overseas or on an English website but I'll leave the link and you can look it up yourself. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I've been wanting to try this out for a long time. This is not my idea. There have been tons of crafters printing out their own decals and stuff, but um, especially with you guys asking where to purchase, you know, the miniature decals, clear decals that I use, I thought this would be maybe a little bit helpful to some of you guys. And if you guys do end up printing your own decal sheets and stuff, I'd love to see them. I would love to see your resin pieces. You can Tweet me or uh, use the hashtag AtelierLorian on Instagram and I will check out your creations. So thanks so much for watching and thank you so much for listening to me if you are indeed here to the end. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!